Do you ever wondered how come your classmates or work colleagues have started to join meetings as a bear or other crazy avatar? Well, they're probably using a tool called Animes by FaceRig. Animes is the next generation of avatar changing software by the people who brought us FaceRig, the award-winning software tool. I'm gonna show you how you can use your avatars in Zoom to bring a bit of spice to your meetings or mundane classroom activities. Animes is available on Steam and is the successor to the very successful FaceRig program, which also replaced your face with that of a comedy or animated avatar. FaceRig is free to use, and as a result of which, you can get in there straight away. If you are a FaceRig owner, then there is currently a discount that will be available to Animes users off subscription services. Now inject a little bit of fun into your meetings or your distance learning if you're in school or in having distance learning classes. So Animes by FaceRig can do this with a multitude of um, meeting programs such as Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, uh, Cisco, WebEx, Cisco WebEx Teams, the list goes on, blue jeans. Um, but how do you do it? So with Animes, you get a number of avatars. Some avatars you have to pay for, some avatars come free. So how do you configure your avatar with size on the screen, props and things like that, where you can inject a little bit of fun into your meetings? So at the beginning, what we said was we would set our avatar for Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a paid avatar for 399 coins uh, and you can buy coins by clicking on that item. There's obviously a subscription as well. You can buy coin packs and there's a subscription and dollar amount there as well to supercharge your experience. But enough of that. I've already bought the Donald Trump avatar. There it is, we're gonna select that. You click on confirm and then Animes loads that character in. Here it comes and there he is. Um, a caricature or avatar of Donald Trump and certainly no disrespect is made uh, or intended. So here we go, uh, we've confirmed that. Let's close that down. We can see that my face is being tracked with the dots around my jawline, around my mouth, my nose and my eyes as well. So that's exactly what the computer is seeing. If for any reason you're having problems and the avatar is not operating as normal, click on calibrate or press control and C. Clicking on Calibrate brings up this screen again. It's picking up the dots around my facial features. Look directly at your webcam or iOS device. Click Calibrate. Neutral expression. Good calibration and your avatar should resolve any issues that it has. Now, with your mouse, if using this on a PC, you can use the mouse wheel to enlarge or shrink your avatar, okay? Now you can also hold the shift key down and move around a background if it's an animated background. Holding the control key down, you can rotate your avatar as well. There we have the back of the avatar's head. You scroll it up, make it larger, but not too large. Bit of a scary thought. Let's move it to that's a decent size, I think. And there's our avatar to the side. And you can rotate it a little bit more. You can also move him uh, by right clicking the mouse and holding the control key down to different sides of the screen. Okay, great. So let's put a prop on our avatar's head. There we go, we've got our prop. Click on props. And there's a range of props that the face rig and animes team have included. So, you know, you could have, um, for example, uh, a jester's hat. Uh, you could have a crown, a cowboy hat, uh, even a beer hat as well. Now, if these don't fit your avatar just right, then select one perhaps that, that might well do. There's a winged helmet uh, that doesn't really fit our avatar well, but hey, the headphones actually do. So selecting the headphones, there we go. Uh, what we wanna do is now size them perfectly for our avatar. So there's our avatar. Right, clicking on advanced, you can move them around, different positioning if they're not quite right, you know, uh, on the model. 
Again, you can do the sizing as well, move them backwards or forwards along the X axis. That might fit a little bit better and not detract really from what you want, which is basically your avatar's mouth. Okay, so that basically was how to change your avatar, put a prop on its head and make yourself look like Donald Trump in a meeting. But how do you get this into a meeting program of choice? Well, I'll show you. It's all about this button at the bottom here called broadcast. Broadcast button will allow you to send this image to a meeting package of choice, like Google Meet, for example, Zoom, you know, the list goes on. Cisco WebEx, Blue Jeans, Microsoft Teams. The broadcast function, think of it this way. You have your webcam, you have your meeting application. NMA sits in the middle. So, the fix so we have to have the input, as we can see here, as you can see my real life input on the left hand side of the screen. We'll then go into animes, then get translated to the avatar of choice. In this case, we've got um, a caricature of, of a gentleman. Uh, and then that will then get sent to the meeting program. As a result, then you have to press the broadcast button. Once you start broadcasting, you get a countdown of 90 minutes. There you go. And then that will then go into your meeting application of choice. A lot of people forget this step and it's imperative to be broadcasting else you'll get a black screen in your meeting. Okay, so here we are in Zoom. <clears throat> We've all familiar with the Zoom interface. Nice, sleek, and completely unassuming. So what we need to do is to configure Zoom so it picks up on animes, and then configure animes so it picks up on Zoom. That's pretty much straightforward. Here we go. We click on the settings icon in the top right-hand side of the screen. From here, we go down to video. From video, you can see it's currently selected as my webcam. Now, normally this would be perfectly fine, but what we don't, we don't want our webcam. What we want is animes. We're gonna select this. We're gonna select animes virtual camera. There you are, selected. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go down to animes, move that out the way. We're gonna select broadcast. Again, the very important step. Select broadcast. This then sends the signal from animes to our meeting solution of choice. In which case, it's Zoom. So, broadcast. And you can see virtually instantaneously what we can see in the Zoom preview window is what we can see in the animes window. So which proves to us that it's working. So you can see animes in the background, tracking my face, tracking my facial features. And here we go, we've got um, our avatar. Now the avatar we want is the one and only Trump. Confirm. You can see both screens of a loading. Zoom is waiting for what um, animes is doing. Let's close that down. Let's make it a bit bigger like that. Um, again, put a prop on. Headphones, why not? Save that. And you can see our avatar of Trump now has headphones on. So what we're going to do, right, we're going to, we're okay with this now. This is all working. Is our Zoom window. going to close that down. We're going to say new meeting. Just to start an ad hoc meeting. We can say straight away we've connected. And there is our avatar. Now, if at any time uh, it's not tracking your face correctly, pop into animes, calibrate, control C, hit the calibrate button, and there you go. Now it's starting to track my mouth nicely. And then back into your meeting, you can see the mouth is moving, eyebrows are moving. As I turn, it turns. No dramas at all whatsoever. Now, as you can see, this is the background that I'm using uh, in regards to animes. Zoom also has its own background as well, which you can set should you want to. Now, turning this off is a slightly different process. 
First of all, I suggest you stop your video and still remain in the meeting. You then go to Animes, Stop Broadcasting. That's very important. And then what I tend to do, just to be sure, on the safe side, I then close down Animes. That means there's no input going towards the webcam. Okay. You close that. And then back into Zoom. And then starting our video meeting. We can then go to our settings. Select Microsoft Live Cam. And there you go. It's back to me in my busy office uh, and what have you. And then from there, you can select virtual backgrounds. So you can have a nice virtual background. We all know how to do this. You know, you can be Golden Gate Bridge on a beach. Um, or you can do different levels, I think, of blurring or upload your own backgrounds as well. So that effectively is how to use animes and zoom. Uh, how to change and select your avatar, add a prop and how to calibrate. And we also use the most important feature of all of this, or it won't work, which is broadcast. I hope you've enjoyed the video on how to use animes and Zoom to make those meetings a little less boring and to make those class and distance learning a little bit more fun. Let me know in the comments how you get on. Like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and check back for more videos in the series. I've got videos out on all the applications in regards to using animes for them and some of the old face rig stuff as well. See you soon.